Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a review on my Urban Decay Ammo Palette. And it looks like this. It comes in a black palette with like purple, purple graphics, like lavender purple and dark purple graphics on the front. And the outlining right here, that's dark purple, it's like a kind of rug material to give it a type of like 2D effect. And it's the same way in the back for the light and dark purple and the 2D type effect in the back. Now I've already used all the shades in looks and this is how the inside looks. It comes with a nice little mirror and they have the graphics around the mirror and then here are the shades to the bottom. They are small, Maui Waui, Milu, Shattered, Polyester Bride, Oil Slick, Last Call, Grifter, Sin, which is also an Urban Decay Naked Palette, and Chopper. Now, all of these shades are incredibly pigmented, as are most of all of Urban Decay shades. Like, they have a really high quality makeup line, and they're all beautiful. These are all shimmery colors, none of them are matte. I mean, it doesn't bother me that, that much, but it really would help to have some matte shades in this palette to incorporate with some looks instead of like dipping into other palettes for matte shades or having to make the entire look shimmery, which can, can be a little too much, especially with highly pigmented shades like these. Now, in this palette, all of these shades can be used as lid colors, every last one. It's not like um, in the Sustainable Shadow Box palette when I, where I had two shades that I couldn't use on the lid as base colors. And all of these can be used wet or dry. They do give fallout, minimum to maximum fallout, it depends on which shade you use and how much of the shade you try to pack on dry. I think Maui Waui gives you the most um, fallout. And I can't really say which one gives you the least amount of fallout because every other shade other than that is pretty good with as far as fallout goes. But I think Mildew and Polyester Bride give you the least amount of fallout in my opinion. All of these colors are absolutely beautiful. Um, they're easy to blend out. They're highly pigmented, very, very shimmery, but you have really have to be careful how you use them because with shades like, let's take Chopper and Smog, for instance, if you try to use them in the crease, oh gee, if you try to use them in the crease, it like, I can't really describe it, but it has like a little lag in the crease area a bit. Like, it doesn't blend out completely. Like, if you put it there, like if you just sweep it there, then it will like stay there. It wouldn't move. Like it's really hard to move out of the crease. So you have to be careful where you place those two colors. Now the black oil slick is very buildable and you don't need a lot with oil slick because it can be very overpowering. But what I like with oil, about oil slick is that it doesn't take much to blend it up. Like it can really be blended out or blended out with like another brown or a different color, which is really nice. And it really, really works for me. This palette, I think, runs about $36. I purchased it off eBay for like $20 or $20 something, but I know it was like a lot lower than the original price. You can purchase Urban Decay products directly from their website or UrbanDecay.com. You can go on eBay like I did, Amazon and their Sephora store, or you can just go directly to the Sephora website. Urban Decay products are available at a lot of different online stores, like of course they all cosmetics wholesale where you can get them at lower prices. Sometimes the prices aren't that low because they'll usually have like discontinued products or very rare products, so the price will be a lot higher. But that's completely up to you. You can shop around and see what you get the better deal with. I would recommend this palette to you know people who are really fans of Urban K and who just like to play around with a lot of colors, a lot of good range of colors. I can I would say you can get a neutral kind of look it'll be kind of neutral but not entirely because these shades like i said are very pigmented and you don't really have like a nice dark matte brown to do your crease with so you'll basically get a good neutral eye using like lid colors basically like sin chopper and smog and even maui waui is a nice incredible great goal that you can incorporate with a neutral look like i did and i think it was ch champagne chocolate tutorial yeah that's what i did so anybody can get this palette but if you're a beginner, I wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend something cheaper that has a wider range of colors for you to play around with. So that is my take on the Urban Decay palette. I give it a four star out of five. The star, the missing star going towards not having any matte shades, but 
yeah, it doesn't bother me that much because I'll just dip into my other palettes that have great matte browns in it. So that's how I feel about the, my Urban Decay palette and you guys should definitely go and pick this up if you would like. It has great shades, great pigmentation, and Urban Decay is just urban amazing. <laughs> See you in my next video, guys. Bye-bye.